Alex Lewis is down at Democratic headquarters Hi, about to speak with the reelected governor. Alex? Hey, Kyle. Uh, welcome, reelected Governor Polis. How do you feel? I'm excited because I love this job. I love Colorado. Uh, it's been an amazing opportunity to serve the four in the last four years, and I'm ready to roll my sleeves and get to work to make Colorado an even better place. In your victory speech here today, we'll call it that, you know, you talked a lot about Coloradans' best days are ahead of us. What does that mean for you as you get to work at the state capitol? You know, we're really, I really focus on protecting our freedom and lowering taxes and costs. Um, and we need to do more, right? We're building on our track record. Free preschool and kindergarten for every child, saving families thousands of dollars a year and giving kids a strong start, right? And ending state taxes on Social Security income, but we know we need to do more. We need to make sure we can have more opportunities for people to live with housing that they can afford for rental and for purchase near where jobs are, and we need to do more to make Colorado safer, and we're focused with our goal of making Colorado one of the 10 safest states over the next five years. And you talk about uh, the cost of living here in this state and inflation. When it comes to those who came to the polls and voted for you, and frankly, those who didn't, what are the campaign promises you think Coloradans are most looking for you to deliver on and right way. Well, whether people voted for me, voted for one of my opponents, or didn't even vote at all, they should know that I'm, I work for them. And I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and get to work. I'll always do what's right for Colorado. And yes, we need to do more as a state to reduce costs and save people money, to make sure our economy can thrive, to make our schools the best in the nation, and to make our streets safer. A lot of hugs around your family on stage. You got a little emotional, too, when you talked about Coloradans having trust in you. How do you feel about that tonight? I, I'm just so humbled. I mean, to think that the people of Colorado placed their trust in me four years ago. We've been through some tough times. The three largest wildfires in the history of our state, the most destructive fire 10 months ago, global pandemic, global economic uncertainty. Uh, but through it all, I did my best to look at data, make informed decisions every day, pragmatic approach. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, to bringing that same uh, background and focus uh, to make Colorado an even more amazing place over the next four years. Any final thoughts tonight as you wake up tomorrow in your second term? I love Colorado. Thank you. The uh, double All piece right, Kyle, signs back from to the governor the to, uh, <laughs> to wrap it up. A, uh, a happy man, and I think a lot of folks are going to say the, uh, the Jared Polis for president uh, bandwagon is going to get a few more people on board after tonight's result. And now the question becomes, uh, does Joe Biden want another go of this in 2024?